Hey boys and girls, today is day three of our writing note-taking lesson. Now today it's going to be a big day because after I do another section, it's going to be your turn. You can choose to go on Epic or Raz Kids. I know Epic does have lots of nonfiction animal books and you're going to choose your own animal. Make sure it's a nonfiction. National Geographic's Readers has lots of animals. I can show you how to search for animals after our section. So I'm going to do one more section today, and then today you're going to turn in an assignment with your own notes on your own animal. So we've already learned some stuff about frogs. I want to know about how frogs grow. Frogs babies. So I'm going to take a look through this book. Remember, I can look at headings to help me, pictures, looking at keywords. Now, since I've read this book, I already know kind of how the book goes and where certain parts are. We did frog food already. So here we go, frog babies, that's my title. Now, I'm gonna read this book and I'm gonna take notes. I have my day three note-taking paper. I'm going to put my name. Make sure you're putting your name on there. I did add this section so the teachers know what animal you chose. So we're doing frogs. So I'm going to put frogs. Whatever animal if you do, dolphins, turtles, bears, polar bears, manatees, snakes, spiders, you put in your animal. Now, that title said Frog Babies. I could keep that same title or I could change it. Now, I'm gonna write down my title as oh, How Frogs Grow. Now, as I read, I'm gonna take my notes. You can, remember, you can do bullet points, you can just start typing, you can do these little dashes. I like the bullet points, so I'm going to go up here. Okay, now I'm going to start reading. Now as I read, you think in your mind, what would be something good to write down in our notes section? And see if you are, we're thinking the same thing about notes. Okay, frog babies. All frogs, even the terriblest, have mothers. Mother frogs lay eggs. When the eggs are ready, out pop the tadpoles. Hmm. I already see a good fact right here. Mother frogs lay eggs. And when the eggs are ready, the tadpole comes out. So I'm going to say frogs lay eggs. And they told me that eggs, they turn into tadpoles. And I could use those words, or because this is my notes, I could make an arrow. Now remember, since we're doing this on a digital on the computer, it's going to be a little bit different. If we were in the classroom, we could draw pictures. We would be able to draw arrows. So eggs and tadpoles. Eggs turn into tadpoles. That will help me. Now if the arrow doesn't help you know what that means, don't do that. Write the whole thing out. Tadpoles are baby frogs. Ooh, that's something people might not know. So let me write that down. Now. That looks like an expert word. That's something that's specific to frogs. So we know in nonfiction books, we have that text feature, bold words, to know if a word's important. So I'm gonna go up here to bold, and I'm gonna write tadpoles. And tadpoles mean baby frogs. So I'm gonna put equals baby frogs. And I'm gonna go back up here, click on bold, so that is a good word I'm gonna to wanna to use when I make my nonfiction book. Let's keep on reading. But they don't look like frogs yet. Tadpoles have tails and they live only in water. So I'm gonna write that down or type that down. Okay. Tadpoles have tails. And they said tadpoles only, where I'm gonna say live, I'm gonna do only in capital, so I know that's really important. They only live in water. 
Now remember, we have four boxes. You can decide how you want to put your notes. You can fill up the whole entire box. You can break it up. And then we have a specific tree frog tadpole. Oh, I see some numbers here. That makes me think of a life cycle like we've been learning about. So we're going to read that in just a moment. Tadpoles grow up to be frogs. One, at first they breathe underwater with gills. Here we see a picture, a photograph of a tadpole with some gills labeled. Here we have, it says ribbit. Here's our information on what that word means. That's probably going to be a good fact to write down. Two, they grow lungs for breathing air. So they're starting to grow lungs so they can breathe air when they turn into frogs. Three, they grow legs for hopping and swimming because oh, frogs need their legs. They still have their tail though right there. In three months, they lose their tails. It's time to hop out of the water. Okay, so I'm going to see this is kind of telling me some steps of how the frog grows from a tadpole to like a teenager into getting ready to be an adult. You can kind of see it still has its tail, but it's starting to go away. I'm going to do on this section, I'm going to do my bullet points again. So it said, first, the tadpoles breathe underwater with gills. Now remember, you can keep on going back and forth between your book to help you, or you can make the website smaller so you have them both on each page. Here, so I'm trying to move this over. So I can kind of see both of them at the same time. If that makes it easier for you. Now two, it says they grow, lung, grow lungs for breathing, making mistakes while typing, breathing air. Three, it says they grow legs for hopping and swimming. So if you don't like it that way, you can just kind of move your stuff back. Let's see here. I'm going to keep it like this. It's a little bit easier for me. So they grow, grow legs for hopping and swimming. And then in, after a few months, they lose their tails. A few months, they lose their tails. And we did have that word in there, gills. And I want to write that down. Oh, I think we have another fact, too. Now, we know once they're out of the water, so it's time to hop out of the water, so adults live mainly on land. Now I want to put down gills. I'm going to make that word bold. Now it told us that gills are the body parts on the sides of a fish or tadpole through which it breathes. Now when we take down notes, we don't need to copy exactly word for word what the text says. We can put it into our own words. So I'm going to say gills. It is a body part on a fish or tadpole which helps them to breathe. So I got lots of my notes on how frogs are growing. Now remember, you can change your title to however you like that matches with what we're reading about. You don't want to put frog's habitat or what frogs eat, it's lunchtime. We're learning about how frogs grow and baby frogs like tadpoles. So something that would go along with the notes we are taking. Now remember, it's okay if you don't use all the boxes. You put down what you want to have in each box. So that is it for frog babies. Now I want you guys today to go on to Epic. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a little bit. We're going to go on to Epic, and I want you to think of an animal you want to learn about. Now try not to pick frogs since that's the one we're doing. 
but I want you to think of some other animals and you're going to take notes on note paper just like this and you're going to submit it with your notes about your animal. Okay, so I, I'm pretty sure all of you have been on Epic before. I know my class has been. So when you go into Epic, mine might look a teensy bit different since I'm with it. I'm on a teacher version. But you can go to Explore up at the top. You can also search by your animal if you want to do sharks, frogs. As you can see, I've searched for sharks and frogs. Or you can go to Explore if you're not quite sure what animal. Now, since animals, they would be in the science category. You can click See More, but we have animals right at the top. So what you can do is click animals, and if you scroll down, you're going to see penguins. Now these are habitats we want an, act, want an animal book. National Geographic does have lots of good books. So these will give you some examples. We don't want videos. You want to click show more. And take you back to the top. So just keep on scrolling until you see an animal you like, or if you have an animal in mind, type it in. Let's do a panda. Oh, see, a whole bunch of panda books. National Geographic is a really good book. Those are my favorite ones for nonfiction, but you could read any of these. I would recommend, if you're not too sure, I would start with a National Geographic. We could do a shark. We have a whole bunch of sharks. Scroll down. I know there's a National Geographic book about sharks. Of course, there's oh, alligators would be another good one. We can do an owl. So think about an animal you would like to do. And once you find your book, make sure it is a nonfiction book. It's giving you facts about the animal. It's not telling you a story. I'm just going to click on penguins real quick. So just like we've been looking at with frog, it's going to give you the book. National Geographic is set up very similar to what we just saw with frogs with the penguins. And you're going to be getting your own blank paper like this. And you're going to type in your name, the animal you chose, read the book, pick a section that you want to title it, and then enter in your notes and you're going to submit it. Now we're going to do this the rest of the three days this week. So day three, day four, and day five, you're going to be taking notes. Just look at the lesson plan and then you have Miss McIntyre's examples to always go back and look at. So you can always go back to our lessons and to watch to see what I was doing and kind of how I was thinking about which notes I want to write down. Good luck boys and girls and I can't wait to see which animals you chose and read about all of those that you took. Please make sure to message if you have any questions. I'll see you for the next lesson. Bye!